there, everybody. Welcome to episode 5 of the Ron Show. We're starting on a weird note because uh, we're currently in the home of Florida, man. As you can tell, we are in the jungle, and that's fun. The lid to the placenta. Is oh, yeah, fun right fact. Now. I get to sit next to the rotting cow placenta. It's not rotting. Thanks. But the teeth came off of it. Yeah. It may crawl out and look for its daddy. <laughs> Which I am not. So yay, I get to sit I get to sit next to the open cow placenta. Yay! So we are currently in the jungle with 78% humidity. If you don't realize, that's pretty hot. So Yeah, episode five is going pretty weird. We get to be in the jungle. Oh look at that. Now we're in a clearing. It's like a mixture between swamp jungle and clearings for some reason. Really starting to dislike Florida. Ah. So, yeah. This is episode 5. Florida. The one state that, you know, everything can go to hell in like 5 seconds. Everything can go to hell in 3 seconds. All the rattlesnakes are making a puddle. Water's melting in the face. Portal to hell. <laughs> God. 
That's essentially what we did. Yeah, that was a portal and all. Oh, God. Good times, good times. Good times. <laughs> And see, look, two cars at a gas station. We just we just came a flying Jesus gas station. People are parking at the pubs to go eat at the Denny's. That's that's Florida right there. And other people are standing around just walking in circles. <laughs> ah, because ah, the medication was wearing off. <laughs> Come get your medication. You cross the line. It sells meds. Uh, it makes sense that you know Florida attracts a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Sorry, we're having a great time. <laughs> Someone's getting feely. Nemesis, cooler ass. Cooler ass. His ass is cooler than mine. That's why he's our nemesis. Stop raining. I guess the rain was in the north part of the state because this is looking like drought stricken area here, except for the green. No, they're not. Yeah. I'm talking about. My parents told me there was somewhat of a drought going on, but I haven't seen anything but rain so far, so I don't know. Yeah. Milos, famous tea. You drank. You fill belly with Milos. <laughs> Milos? I don't know what the hell I mean. Milos. Milos? Uh, Milos. The name, Milo. <laughs> Did you forget the name Milo existed? Kinda, yeah. Uh, don't worry, don't feel bad. I once forgot the letter D existed, so. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Good times. Yeah, you should have gone back to watching Sesame Street. <laughs> what episode was that? I know I'm missing something. Oh yeah, the letter D, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I went back watching it, but I got bored after the count of three. Uh, uh, it was the uh, episode uh, where the show was brought to you by dicks. <laughs> <laughs> And the letter D. Big Bird has a dick. Hi. Stumpy has a dick. <laughs> Cookie Monster even has a dick. Oh, no, no, no. Was that him eating his own dick? No, no, no. That was him eating cookies while his planting root was bobbing around Grover's oh, head. Oh, okay. Grover's <laughs> your dick. No, it wouldn't be flying around Grover's head. Grover's fucking chickens, dude. Yeah, it's true. Grover is all about the chicken. <laughs> Is it fucked up the thing? Is that Grover or are you thinking the Muppets? I'm, I'm, is that Gonzo? Gonzo rapes the chickens. Oh yeah, Gonzo rapes the chickens. He's, he's, he looks like Grover. <laughs> he, like, he has like a, a weird beaky nose. Yeah, he has the penis nose. Yeah. That's what he does. Is it messed up to think that it's actually true that Gonzo is like totally... Chicken lover. Dude. It is completely a chicken lover. Yeah, he's legitimately... He's trying to hide that. He's legitimately yeah. married to a chicken. He's basically him. Heinrich Himmler. That's his name, Heinrich. Himmler. Heinrich? Kukagonzo. Kukagonzo. <laughs> 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 uh, he had to change his name because his wife felt uncomfortable. Yeah, the whole Himmler thing. Yeah. He kind of wore that out World War II. <laughs> the family name, so he kind of went to, you know, Gonzo. Oh, uh, yeah. It sounded jazzy. He did that in the coked out <laughs> 70s. He took a big rail. <laughs> I'm going to go by... <laughs> Yeah, Himmler's kind of wearing. Yeah, Gonzo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> uh, good times. Oh, everyone's like, hopefully no one's seeing that. <laughs> oh, everyone's like, truck driver's driving by. Like, <laughs> 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 to be fair, the truck driver's probably doing the same <laughs> the thing. 50 year old man doing that in his front of his car. To be fair, the truck driver's probably doing, like, the actual thing, so. Maybe. I don't know about you people out there on the YouTube land, but making sure placenta doesn't fall out of a styrofoam box is one of my favorite pastimes. I, what, what do you think, Dad? Do you think it's a really great pastime, too? I think it's a lure. It's trying to get you to pounce on it. It'll be a big hook, and it's right as you bite into the placenta. Oh! And then the troll that's living back there will pull you back. Eat your liver. That's yeah, that's what I guessed. Never again. We're not bringing placenta with us next time. Gonna have placenta. It would not be a trip without placenta. <laughs> Ending this episode of the Ron Show in the place that will be my home for the next two weeks, uh, where I will do, be doing labor. Ow! In my grandparents' 
backyard. So, kitchen area, cleaning of clothes area, <clears throat> TV that's been there for decades, and couch where I will be sleeping. And back there, somewhere's the bathroom, but this is the conclusion of this episode of The Ron Show. So yeah, later. Who really cares?